Hi, I'm Nisar Sanadi. I'm a product manager for the East Simulator product line. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about the simulator product line that we call East. If we move in here, East is basically a family of products. Uh, we have the East EPC, the East 500, and the East LTE. And they focus on testing in different domains within the LTE network. So if you see here, on the right side, we have what we call the uh, EPC or the LTE core. And the East EPC product line focuses on testing the EPC uh, section of the LTE network. Then the East 500 focuses on testing the air interface to the eNodeB. And finally, the East LTE product focuses on testing the eNodeB, but besides the air interface. So with this high level introduction, we'll move here. Uh, East is basically a completely graphical interface. It's a very, very intuitive, easy to use product. Uh, as you can see, it's all completely graphical. Uh, and we have two important uh, snapshots here. What we have here is what we call the runner. The runner is basically the feature that is used to execute the test cases. And we can use it to execute either in functional testing, conformance testing, negative testing, or load testing. Uh, what we are seeing here is what we call the event trace. So this is basically one view of the log that we can see as we execute the test. This is essentially a ladder diagram that is drawn in real time as the test executes. And as you can see, as the test executes, it draws in real time the flow of messages between East and the system being tested. And then from here, the user can dig down into each message and pretty much figure out at the parameter level what's going on. Behind all this is what we have a graphical test creation environment. And this is the thing that pretty much distinguishes our product from the competition. This graphical editor gives unprecedented flexibility to the user. Uh, this editor is basically used to create all the scenarios that we uh, prepare and sell, and also what customers can themselves modify and create uh, to, to create their own proprietary test scenarios. And as you can see, again, it's completely graphical, looks very similar to SDL. Uh, so it's a very intuitive way of capturing, in a graphical way, the flow of messages that basically encompasses the test scenarios. And be between these two features, the, text, uh, the test creation and the test execution, we have a platform that can be used for all the cycles of testing, right from functional testing to load testing and stress testing. And all of this runs on this hardware out here. So we are basically based on the ATCA platform. So this is a small chassis that we have. And within this chassis, we have uh, slots where the processor blades go in. So what we have here is a four slot chassis. And we have two processor blades in here. And each of these processor blades is completely independent. It's, it's pretty much like a computer on a blade. It has its own processor. It has its own memory. It's, it's completely standalone. And this uh, small chassis here can take four of these uh, processor blades. We also have a larger chassis, which can take up to 12 processor blades. And if the load testing requires it, it's possible to even daisy chain multiple of these chassis so that we can have a system that comprises not one or two, but any number of chassis daisy chained together. But irrespective of how many chassis you have, everything can be still controlled from one central point of control. So there is complete control and command from a central place, irrespective of the amount of hardware we have at the back end. So this is typically used in the lab environment, uh, mostly in the network manufacturers, uh, but also in the operators. But there is sometimes need to have portability. And for the portability aspect, we have this platform here, uh, what we call the travel hawk. And this, as you can see, is a completely portable uh, solution. It can be actually carried on a plane. So this provides the exact same functionality that we have on a chassis-based system in terms of software and it gives the same level of performance that you'd get from one of these blades here. So all the, all the performance, all the flexibility, but in a completely uh, portable platform. Uh, so with this uh, high level introduction, I'll conclude my uh, session. And if you need more information of the pro about the product, please go to www.x4.com and contact our salespeople. Thank you.